Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're doing um, a new series that I've made called, well, I'm going to call it the Hot Wheels Racing Trials. So this is the first series. Um, it's kind of like the downhill racing that some other Hot Wheels guys have done that you most, you most likely have seen if you watched any of my videos or their videos. So we've got the setup of cars here, and I've got my track for the... For the racing, I got the two identical launchers down there, and whichever car comes over the thing first will trigger this, and the car will hit it and go flying, and the other car will go trigger this thing here, and will go on to the, the next part of the race. So, we've got some cars here, so I've got... I've got 16 cars here, plus an extra two if there are any that don't decide that they don't want to use the launchers, which I'm kind of referring to these two GMC motorhomes. I just wanted to see which one would win, but I tested it, and the the launchers, I think, are a little too strong for it, for both of them, because they just fly away on the launchers. So what I've got here, the cars, I've got the Toyota MR2 versus the Drift King, two GMC motorhomes. The 93 Camaro stock car versus the Chrysler Thunderbolt. The 71 Maverick, the gold one. And the 74 Dodge Charger, the Cheerios one. Then we've got the Porsche Panamera versus the Lotus Elise. We've got this McDonald's car. I have no idea what it is. It's like a 57 Chevy or something. It doesn't say on the bottom except it's a McDonald's car. Then we've got the and the old metal base Corvette to go against it. Then we've got the f the burlesque, the clear one. Well, I think most of them are clear because the other one I have is clear. Then the stock car. Then we've got the Nerve Hammer going against the McLaren P1. Or is it the P1? Yeah, it's the P1. And if neither of them want to work, we've got the Formula One racer and the power pipes or the power pistons power pistons and um i've got a couple new cars that i've just gotten the other day i've got this mcdonald's car my brother liked that one so he got it then he also got this final run ferrari 308 and i got the king of the road street beast i thought they were pretty cool so let's um see which car wins first so we've got the nerve hammer versus the McLaren P1. So they will go on the, we'll both have them on the second speed and we don't want to forget to re reset the launcher every time. So let's see which one wins. Okay, so the McLaren P1 won that time. I'm surprised. The Nerf Hammer I thought would do a lot better. Now we have the stock car versus the burlesque. My, my bets are going on the stock car. Yep. Stock car wins. And they're, they both are the same launcher, as I already had said at one point. So, and they're both on the same speed. And they both came in a set, like a racing set with the loop-de-loop. -loop. So that's why the launchers are stronger than some of the other ones. Don't want to forget that, because it will ruin the outcome. We'll have to redo that one, because it seemed neither car got to the end. They both crashed. I don't know why. All right, let's see. Okay, I think the the yellow car it flew off the track before it could get to this thing, and the this car got to the end first, and it triggered this thing, so that car lost, and the Porsche Panamera wins. So now we have the old '57 Chevy versus the cor the metal-based Corvette. I put that on the wrong speed. So the the McDonald's car it doesn't roll very well, but the neither does the the Corvette because it's such a heavy car. But I'm not sure which one will win. Okay, so the Corvette wins. Now we have the seventy four Charger versus the seventy one Maverick. I thought that those would go pretty good together. Okay, so the Maverick wins. 
Now we have the Chrysler Thunderbolt versus the 93 Camaro stock car, just the plain black one, or the black finish metallic one. And don't forget to reset the end zone. I think we might have to redo that when I think one of them crashed. So the the Camaro won the first one, but we're going to try that again and see what happens. Okay, so the Chrysler Thunderbolt won that one. Now we're going to do the Drift King versus the MR2. These are both really good rolling cars, but the, the Drift King has a plastic base and it's lighter. And, the, and it's got bigger wheels and the MR2 has a metal base and it's heavier. So I'm not really sure which one is going to win though. Oh, and gotta remember to reset that thing. Okay, the the MR2 lost and the Drift King won. So I don't have high hopes for these two cars because they don't really work very well on these launchers. So just see what happens. Gotta reset that even though I don't believe in them, really. Yeah, that's what that's what happens every time. So I guess we're gonna have to replace the two motorhomes with the F1 racer and the power pistons. Now I haven't tried either of these two cars to see if they actually work on the track, but let's hope that they both do. Okay, I guess this one just flew off the track, so we're gonna just say that the F1 racer won. Okay, so these are the the quarter finals or whatever. So we got the McLaren P1 versus the stock car, these the Porsche versus the Corvette, the Chrysler versus the Maverick, and the Drift King versus the F1 Racer. So, let's see which car wins. We've got the stock car versus the McLaren this time. Gotta reset that. Alright, see which car wins. Okay, I'm surprised the stock car didn't win, because that's a really good rolling car. So the McLaren won that one. I'm actually fairly surprised at that. Gotta reset that. And then we have to get the cars back into the launchers. Only two dollars for the launchers, some track, and the two loop de loops, and that. I explained in the review of Topper Deckington. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. But I got these at a garage sale for two dollars. This isn't the track that it came with, the track joiners. Some, um, they all had the Hot Wheels logo like this one does. They all had that, and the ones that I already had don't. Those are the ones that it, it must have came with, but it had some track too, so let's see which kind of car wins, but the Porsche versus the Corvette. Okay, that's not really a surprise. The Corvette didn't win because it's slow and heavy. Okay, and now we have the Chrysler Thunderbolt versus the Maverick. Now, I'm not really sure which one will win here because... I haven't raced these two cars. Gotta reset that. Okay, the Maverick one. That's kind of surprising because I never thought the Maverick was a very good rolling car. But obviously it seemed to have won that one. Now we've got the Drift King versus the F1 Racer. Okay, the F1 Racer annihilated the Drift King, so... Now we've got the semi-finals, we've got the McLaren P1 versus the Porsche Panamera, and the 1971 Maverick versus the F1 Racer. So let's do the Porsche versus the McLaren this time. Gotta reset that thing. It would be nice if it auto-reset, because, I, I mean, I guess it would, you'd have to tell it when you wanted it to auto-reset, though. Okay, the, the Porsche lost, and the... McLaren won. So now we have the Maverick versus the F1 Racer. Oh, I gotta reset that. Okay, that was a total tie. We gotta redo that one because it set off the thing at the exact same time. These cars are the same. We'll have to reset and try it again because we tied, and we can't have that. We have to have a winner in these races. Okay, I hit the Maverick. 
a little late, but we'll have to just put him aside because we have to finish the race. So we've got the semifinals. We've got the McLaren P1 versus the F1 racer with the glow-in-the-dark wheels and the dark green paint. And the McLaren has the dark, like a burnt orange paint. I'm not really sure what color you could technically call it, but... And we got to reset that thing again. I keep almost forgetting, but I don't forget. Hopefully, let's see if we can not forget about that. But I think this might be the last thing, unless we tie. Okay, so the McLaren wins. The P1, it beat the F1 racer. So, we'll just have to... Sh I'll show you all the cars that won, which were these two. So we got the McLaren P1 at 1, and then we got the F1 Racer, which it got 2nd, then these two, it got 3rd and 4th, and then these two, they didn't win because they didn't want to use the launcher. Then we got the Drift King, I'm just showing you all these cars. Most of these I just got recently because they were at either an antique store or a garage sale. Well, I didn't get any at garage sales, they were all at like antique stores and shows and stuff. And then we got the Thunderbolt. This one I didn't get recently, and this one, but all the others I did, and this one I didn't. But the others I all got recently. And the McDonald's car, the Lotus, got two of those. The Nerve Hammer, I also didn't get this one recently. I got it a couple years ago. It came in a Hot Wheels book. It was an exclusive thing. Then we've got the Burlesque, the 74 Chargers got black wheels. I put some stuff on the wheels so it will roll better, but I don't know how well it did. Then we've got the 93 Stock Car Camaro. Then we've got the Toyota MR2, but it doesn't say MR. It doesn't say Toyota on the back like some of the other ones do with the similar paint. Then we've got the Stock Car. That was a really good rolling car, and it was one of the better rolling cars that I've gotten. All of the cars that I've got. And probably the oldest out of all the cars that I got, which is this 90, or this old metal base Camaro. I don't really know what year it is, but I guess that's, that's the winner. And I thank you for watching, and we'll certainly do more of these race events because I've got plenty of cars to race to see which ones win. Thanks for watching.